All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday as it I do. I'm here to bring you some Monday motivation. And I hope you guys had a great weekend. And I want to thank everyone for the response from yesterday. Uh, I talked about resting. I talked about keeping the Sabbath holy. And so with it being Monday, and I do try to bring something motivational, I realized this morning as I was getting out of bed and waiting for my dog to get ready to take me for a walk. Um, I don't always feel motivated. I don't always feel like I want to exercise every morning or I want to go to work or I want to deal with people. That's probably the biggest one lately, if I'm being honest. Um, like right now I'm in the process of getting everything ready for my book to come out June 1st. I don't always feel like doing that because there's a lot of crap involved in that. And I see why people pay exorbitant amounts of money for other people to do this stuff. Maybe my next book, I'll, I'll do that. But nonetheless, <clears throat> I want to give you a verse. It's Jeremiah 17, verse 9. And it says, The heart is deceitfully wicked among all things. Who can understand it? Or some translations say, who can know it? And the heart are feelings, our desires, will often, if we allow it, motivate us and control us and steer us in a direction that is not beneficial. The motivational part that I want to bring up this morning for the Monday motivation is this. Our feelings, our heart will betray us. It is deceitfully wicked among all things. And if you don't sometimes feel like doing something, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. It means that maybe you should do it. Like I don't always feel, like I said, I don't always feel like getting up and, and going and exercising in the morning, but I do more often than not because I know I need to. I've I've been given a lot of gifts in regards to my health. And I do, I do try and I do want to steward those gifts to the best of my ability. I know being active and, and trying to exercise and trying to work out um, is something, not that you can tell, but uh, I know that's something that's going to help prolong the gift that was given. But we can also look at that in our personal life, uh, in our financial life, in our, in our spiritual life. You know, I don't feel this way, so I'm not going to A, B, C. Right. And right now in our society, you know, feelings are becoming truth. Feelings are becoming fact. And that's not the truth. The scripture says our hearts, our intentions, our desires, often our motivation is deceitfully wicked. It is beyond evil. It is untrustworthy. It is not guaranteed to lead us down that righteous path that that keep our Trump, uh, compasses pointed true north. And I'm talking to myself. Now, if I got a finger pointing at you, I got three and a half <laughs> pointing back at me. And so what I'm telling you is something I'm working through myself. You know, I'm working out uh, my salvation with much fear and trembling like the, the Bible says. So my motivation this Monday is you may not feel like doing something. You may not feel like exercise. You may not feel like doing the right thing. You may be given an offer that at the moment to your desires, to your, your human part, if you will. I believe that we were created by the divine and there is part divinity once we commune with the almighty with us. You know, we're mind, we're body, and we're spirit. And often our body and our mind oversee and supersede, I should say, uh, uh, the spirit, that, that portal that allows us to communicate with the almighty. And those times, they're we fall prey to deceitful wickedness that is beyond our understanding, beyond the capacity of our knowledge. So I just want to leave you with that thought. The heart is deceitfully wicked among all things who can know it. Learning how to understand that, learning how to tame that, learning how to not give in to those woos of lesser lovers is a legitimate challenge and one that I... <laughs> I fight on a, 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 a second by second basis, it seems like. But I believe you can do it. I believe you will 
uh, you are and will remain motivated. And I believe that you will get and stay in the arena.